Hello there. Welcome. In this video, you will learn about how to prepare AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam. If you are interested in taking the AZ900 Fundamental exams or if you are still unsure if this exam will benefit your career, then this video is for you. About AZ900 Fundamentals exam. You've probably heard of Microsoft Azure in recent years. It has made it to the top of Microsoft's fastest growing platforms. The AZ900 certification will serve as confirmation that you have a basic understanding of the cloud concepts. Azure services, Azure workloads, security and privacy in Azure, as well as Azure pricing and support. Prerequisites This examination is for individuals who are new to Azure and or interested in working with cloud-based solutions and services. For anyone who has prior experiences with Azure services, this is an ideal opportunity to demonstrate your understanding of key Azure principles such as multiple services, pricing, security, administration and support. But before enrolling for this examination, you should be familiar with the general technology concepts, including concepts of networking, storage, computing, application support, and application development. Even though Azure Fundamentals is not a requirement for other Azure role based or specialty certifications, it will benefit you a lot if you choose to pursue it. Target audience. This exam is not classified as being only for professionals with technical backgrounds. This exam is open to candidates with non-technical backgrounds as well. Microsoft Azure Fundamentals training is appropriate for a variety of job categories like System Administrator Network Administrator Developers Cloud Architects AI Engineer Data Analyst Data Engineer Data Scientist, Database Administrator, Security Engineer. Exam Details It is a misconception that because it is merely a fundamental exam, it would be easy. This exam assesses your knowledge of cloud ideas and Azure administrations at a fundamental level. As stated at the beginning of this video, this primarily concentrates on the core ideas of cloud based services. In relation to Azure. The exam consists of approximately 40 to 60 multiple choice questions and you will be given 85 minutes to complete them all. You must score at least 70% 700 marks out of 1000 to receive a certification. Each time you take the exam you are required to pay 99 US dollars so it is worth using good training resources like video courses, practice tests, and hands-on labs for your exam preparation. The AZ-900 exam is not only available in English, but also in Japanese, Chinese, Simplified, Korean, Spanish, German, and French. Syllabus The topics covered in the exam, together with their percentage coverage, are listed here. Describe cloud concepts 15 to 20 percent. This topic explains the differences between public, private, and hybrid clouds, as well as the many cloud based services available. Describe core Azure services 30 to 35 percent. This portion has the highest weightage. As the name implies, you need to prepare the fundamental building blocks of Azure's core architectural ideas such as regions, resource groups and availability zones. Azure Computation Services Azure Storage Services On-premises network to Azure Virtual Network Integration Virtual Networks Subnets Traffic Filtering and other Azure services will be covered. Describe Security Privacy, Compliance and Trust 25-30% Network Security Groups 
NSG, firewalls and key vaults are all security building pieces in Azure. Role-based access control, RBAC, Azure Active Directory and multi-factor authentication can all be used to manage access to all Azure resources, MFA. You learn about Azure Monitor and Service Health, Trust Center, Compliance Manager and terms like ISO, GDPR, Identity Protection Policies, Azure Data Security and more in this part. Not only that, but Azure Government is a physically separated Azure instance designed to meet compliance and security standards for US government workloads. In 2018, Azure announced Azure Germany to comply with German data privacy laws and regulations. Describe Azure pricing service level agreements and life cycles 20 to 25%. The majority of questions in the last portion will be based on Azure cost management and zone wise billing. Azure offers both pay as you go and reserved instance pricing with various pricing units for each service. How to apply for AZ900 foundational examination? To get started, go to Microsoft's learning dashboard. Log into your account or create one if you haven't already. To schedule an exam, go to the certification page and click the schedule exam button. Fill out all the necessary information to register for the exam. You can also choose whether you want to take the exam at home or at testing center. How to prepare for the examination? Assuming you already have some knowledge about any cloud service, it will take you approx 20 to 30 hours of study. But if you are a beginner, it will take you more than 30 hours. First and foremost, go to Microsoft's official website. It includes free resources that will cover the fundamentals in great detail. Examine the syllabus to ensure that you have covered all topics. Cover all of the exam's topics with a focus on the topics with the highest weighting. It can take months if you start learning on your own, but with proper training materials, it will take much less time depending on how strong your learning ability is. WizLab's certification courses are created by highly experienced subject matter experts in the form of video courses, hands-on labs and practice exams. Do explore our training library today. We trust that you now have a better understanding of the Azure Fundamental Certification. We wish that your exam will be a success.